Welcome everyone to Artisan Heirloom Foods and today I want to give you a quick update on how my radishes are doing. Now if you've been following my videos uh, you will have noticed uh, that my radishes have grown really large, the foliage has, but that there are no actual radish bulbs and we've I've had these germinated now and the sprouts popped up through the soil over a month ago and I've gotten a lot of foliage uh, they're really healthy they're beautiful I mean just look at them you can you in some you, you can even see the little hairs that are on the the leaves I mean these are really nice looking greens right but that's not the purpose for growing them I'm not growing them for their greens I'm growing them for their radish bulbs, and I have no radishes, and we're past the point of where we would have already harvested all of these radishes for their, for you know, for their bulbs. So I'm a little perplexed, a little disappointed. My rabbit is going to be extremely excited because I'm going to pull all these out and feed them to my rabbit. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of, we're, I, I've actually moved my, uh, my uh, station, my, my indoor grow light station into my office. I had a, a four foot section of wall that was, uh, didn't have anything on it. And, and it's a lot warmer in here. Um, if you've seen my last video um, about uh, planting uh, basil sprouts, you'll notice that this one is actually doubled in size and it's only been a few days. It hasn't even been a week. And it's done this just since Saturday. That's when I actually put the shelf in here. And so it's enjoying the warmer, uh, the the warmer temperature of this room, it's about 75 uh, during the winter months <laughs> consistently. This is the room that I, this is my man cave and, and I uh, spend the majority of my time uh, when I have extra time in this room and my computer as well as my television. Um, more, uh, mostly my computer actually um, produces a lot of heat and it keeps this room pretty warm uh, plus when the thermostat kicks on and and starts heating the rest of the house this room actually gets really hot um, but uh, it also has carpet which the uh, family room which is where this shelf was actually originally at has tile and so as everyone knows Tile radiates uh, cold as well as heat, depending upon which time of year. So during the winter months, it's actually, that's the coldest room in the house, even though it has more vents in it. It actually is the room with the most vents. Uh, it has four vents in the room versus one or two in all the other rooms. So, um, and, and it stays pretty cold in there. And I actually have to run a, that's where my bunny and my sugar gliders are at. And I actually have to run an electric heater in there to keep it warm for them. Um, but I mean, let's just take a look at this radish here. Can you see the split on the, on the stem? That's where the radish would have actually grown, where that split is at. And, and so the radishes are just not growing themselves the actual vegetable um, the root or the bulb um, it's growing a lot of foliage this one here as you can see is started to bolt and is trying to produce seed and I have another one in this little jungle in here that's doing the same thing and uh, so it's just these were not this was not a successful as successful as I wanted it to be I, I thought I would have you know some little radishes to harvest at this time and instead I just have a lot of green foliage so I'm not quite sure why 
Um, I don't overwater them. I don't underwater them. It's nice and warm in here. Um, and uh, they get plenty of light. As you can see, my light is like, they're, they're practically, some of them are touching the bottom of the light, the, the grill of the light. So they, they're getting plenty of light. Um, my basil, as you can see, I mean, it's like, it's doing a phenomenal job. I mean, it is, it's, they're, I mean, they're beautiful. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. Quick video. Um, if you're new to my videos, please subscribe. If you like them, hit that like button. And if you have subscribed already or, or just now subscribing, hit that notification button. So you'll be updated every time I uh, post a new video. Always leave a comment if you can. If you have any ideas or suggestions, um, tips, anything, or you just want to say hi to a fellow gardener, you know, leave that comment. And uh, I want to leave it here. And I will see you in the next video. All of you take care. Thank you.